During the World Cup campaign, a bunch of Irish fans had been on a long away trip when they arrived in a little town called Valletta. The next morning, several of the boys went to the team's training session. The manager was in charge of the session, and after it, those fans who had match programs took them out and got them signed by the players. But this one fan had only a deck of cards, and so he spread them out. Mick Byrne saw this and said, "Son, put away those cards." The fan was brought before the manager, and Jack said, "Why have you brought this player here before me, Paddy? It's Mick, sir." Why, Mick? Why have you brought this fan here? For playing cards at a training session, sir. And what have you to say for yourself, son? Much, sir," replied the fan. And Jack said, "I hope so, for if you do not, I shall punish you more than any man was ever punished. I'll make you watch videos of all the Daniel O'Donnell shows." The fan said, "Sir, I have been on the jar for six days. I had neither a match program nor my Panini World Cup stickers, but I hope to satisfy you with the purity of my intentions." And with that, the boy started his story. You see, sir, when I look at the ace, it reminds me that there was but one goal in that game against England, and we scored it. And the deuce reminds me that there are two successful international teams on our island: the Republic of Ireland and the Republic of Ireland reserves. When I see the tray, I think of the tray of drinks I spilled when Ronnie hit that goal against the Soviet Union. The tray also reminds me of the three towns in which we played our matches in Germany. There was Staggered, Hangover, and Belchenburpen. When I see the four, I think of the four green fields on which soccer is played: Daly Mount, Talca, Lansdowne, and the fourth one we lost to strangers, Milltown. When I see the five, I think of the five fingers on my own hand, which makes me think of the manager before Jack. When I see the six, it reminds me that it only took us six minutes to score against England. The six also reminds me of number six, Liam Brady. When I see the seven, it reminds me that on the seventh day God rested, which is why we should avoid hard work on Sundays, except watching League of Ireland matches, which can be very hard work sometimes. When I see the eight. I think of those eight minutes left against Holland when they scored that goal. The nine reminds me of the number of yards it was offside by. The nine also reminds me once more of Liam Brady, upside down. When I see the ten, I think of the ten people that once turned up for a UCD home game and broke the attendance record. When I see the king, it reminds me of King Packy, who rules his 18-yard area. And when I see the queen. I think of the Queen Mary, which reminds me of the English team who are all big Marys. When I see the Jack or Knave, I think of the Devil or Mo Johnson, as they refer to him in Glasgow. When I count the number of spots on a deck of cards, I find 365. The number of days in a year, I live each one of them for football. There are 52 cards, the number of weeks in a year. There are four suits, the number of suits I ruined celebrating after our four home wins against Spain. Malta, Hungary, and Northern Ireland. There are twelve picture cards, a dozen, which reminds me of John Aldridge, but doesn't score very many for us. Twelve is the number of pounds on the face value of a stand ticket, and there are thirteen tricks. You'd need to know them all to get your hands on one. So you see, sir, my pack of cards serves me as a match program, an FAI yearbook, and a shoot annual. And friends, the story is true. I know I was that soldier.